South by Southwest is back in full swing. Well, it's very exciting. All happening in the heart of Texas. I just want to eat barbecue all day. I just eat wall-to-wall -wall barbecue. Thousands of people from across the globe will be in Austin to experience all that the festival has to offer, including tech, music, and film. It's one event that uh, has a mix of everything. So the fact that you can do learning, it has some of the best talks. I love the weirdness of the talks that come from South by as well. But uh, by evening, it moves into music. And just one day in, pop-ups have already taken over in and around the downtown area. Even a Ferris wheel has been placed right on the corner of Congress Avenue and 2nd Street. The massive ride is just one part of the audible sound experience. The pop-up also has carnival games and foods. On Rainy Street, more pop-ups and things to do, along with the people who came a long ways away to be here at South by Southwest. I mean, I've heard about it for years, and um, we've got an opportunity with uh, this organization called uh, UK Advertising Exports Group. So they bring loads of amazing creative agencies, production houses, uh, film crews, stuff like that together. He's part of a bigger experience here at South by Southwest called the UK House that has speakers, shows, and sports all scheduled for this weekend to bring the UK culture to Austin. We know that the Rugby World Cup is coming to the US uh, in 2031. We're showing the England Island game tomorrow to sort of, you know, start to get people from Austin and America more familiar with rugby. And either with a badge or no badge, there are multiple things to do at this festival. The thing about South By is it is content and talks that you just, you can't get anywhere else.